Hello everybody. Now I'm going to teach you how to add rational expressions when you do not have common denominators. All right, so looking at this example, you notice that your denominators are not the same thing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is factor your denominators if you can. So if you notice, x squared plus 5x plus 6 right here can be factored. That's when you go off to the side and, of course, draw your x, put 6 up top, 5 at the bottom. Think of two numbers that multiply to give you 6, but add to equal 5. Well, the two numbers that work, obviously, are 3 and 2. So, if I write it out in factored form, it would be x plus 3 and x plus 2. And I'll just rewrite my numerator because I didn't do anything to it. And then looking at the denominator of the second rational expression, x plus 3 will just remain the way it is because I can't factor it any further. All right, then after that, you're now going to find your least common denominator. Well, looking at both of your denominators, you're basically saying, okay, is there something I can multiply to one of them to where they'll both look the same? Well, if you notice, over here you have an x plus 3 as well as an x plus 3 over here. But in this denominator, you have an x plus 2, but you don't have that over there. So that tells you you're going to multiply this side times x plus 2. Whatever you do to the denominator, you must do to the numerator. So now my common denominator is going to be x plus 3 times x plus 2. And then the numerator, I'm just going to write it out for now before I try to do anything else to it. 2x minus 11 times x plus 2. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and actually multiply this. And when I do that, I'm going to go to the next page, I will get Two x squared plus four x minus eleven x minus twenty two, and I still have the eight x minus five in front, and I'm just working the numerator for right now. And then, of course, combining all my like terms that I have, well, obviously nothing combines with two x squared, so I'll leave that. And then I have my eight x plus my four x minus my eleven x which will give me positive 1x. And then I have my negative 5 minus 22, which gives me negative 27. And I leave my denominator the way it was in factored form. And then I'm done.